Welcome to the first of our seven-day series on getting the most out of your first week with Word Tracker. We're going to show you how to amass more traffic and sales by pushing your site to the top of search engine rankings. Let's look at a quick example. If I were to type Christmas chocolates into Google, this is what I would get. You've got sponsored pay-per-click listings here, and the organic, so-called free listings, here. While free of cost, the organic listings, if done right, do take a bit of time, effort, and savvy in figuring out just what makes the search engines tick. So how do you get to the top of page one? We can uncover some basic clues by looking at the sites that are already on top. You can see here how Hotel Chocolat uses the exact phrase I searched on, as well as many instances of the individual words within the phrase. For a page to do well for particular keywords, it's vital that those same keywords are carefully used in prominent positions on that page, such as the title tag, headlines, and body text. But don't overdo it. Don't stuff keywords onto the page. It's far better to write naturally and use variations on the target keywords, like plurals, synonyms, and similar words. But there's a lot more to search engine optimization than that. SEO is a never-ending process, starting with keyword research, then planning site structure and site navigation, planning, creating, and optimizing site content, inbound link building, and finally, monitoring progress before continuing the permanent process. We'll look at most of these in later videos, but let's start with the basics. Anyone who wants search engine success needs to figure out what phrases their potential customers are actually searching on. These phrases are called keywords, and WordTracker is the best tool for finding and using them. You see, WordTracker contains a regularly updated database of hundreds of millions of real searches by real people. You can mine that database to pinpoint the exact keywords used by people who are looking for products just like yours. Here's how. From your Word Tracker dashboard, just click on Start Your Keyword Research. Let's begin with one basic seed word, chocolate. And we end up with a list of up to 1,000 resulting keywords. If desired, we can drill down on any of these to gather even more results. For example, here I can search on dark chocolate, thus targeting a specific type of product that I sell or a particular target audience. But it could be any niche in the world of chocolate products, hot chocolate, chocolate gift baskets, white chocolate, etc. And of course, you have some advanced settings, such as the ability to set up stricter rules for what terms qualify as a match include plurals, misspellings, and adult keywords, or choose between U.S. and U.K. listings. So, you've got some impressive flexibility here. Of course, you're bound to get a few listings that just aren't pertinent to what you're doing, such as these recipe listings. Fortunately, it's quite easy to get rid of them, either individually or en masse. To remove them, I just enter Recipe into the filter search box and then click the Deselect button. See how those boxes are now unchecked? Once the unwanted keywords are gone, you can save your list as a project. A project is a collection of related lists, for example, for a single site or an AdWords campaign. You can create new projects when a list is saved, so on the fly, or save lists to existing projects. With projects, you can save thousands of keywords in separate lists. The structure of your projects can match that of your websites. Each saved list can correspond with a category on your website. You can then use the saved keywords to optimize your site so that it edges out your competition in search engine results. Now, WordTracker's keyword tool has a great new feature that makes it even quicker to save lists to projects. Let's go back to our original chocolate search. If you see any keyword that you want to use to create a new list, you simply left-click the search button next to it and save that list into any existing or new project. Let's quickly check out that list we just made. 
You can view and even edit your saved lists at any time by clicking on the Show All Lists link here at the top of the page you're working on. And then just click on the list you want to see, Chocolate Strawberries. And here's the Chocolate Strawberries list I just saved. We see that this list has 440 keywords and a total of 11,696 searches. But that's not all. We have many more money-making keywords left to find. The ones we've seen thus far all contain the word chocolate. But WordTracker offers special lateral searching capabilities that will let you pull up related keywords that don't necessarily contain that word. We do this by showing the Related Keywords tool. Let's enter our seed word, chocolate. The tool then searches the websites of all your competitors, the ones that score high in the search engines for that term, to find the keywords they use. As you can see, you do indeed get some keywords with potential, such as truffles, corporate gifts, valentine, candy, cocoa, business gifts, etc. Instead of re-entering these keywords into the blue Find Keywords tool, again a simple click of the search link and Search and Save will make a blue tool search and save the resulting list to the project of your choice. Let's summarize what you need to do. First, decide on a single keyword phrase as a seed keyword, in our example chocolate, and with the blue Find Keywords tool use exact keyword inside a search term to dig deep into that keyword's results. From the results, pick as many longer terms as you think are relevant to your site. With a left click, quickly search and save to save them as lists in a project. Now, take your seed keyword and enter it into the Related Keywords tool. Here you can search wide for related keywords that don't necessarily contain your seed keyword. Again, pick as many related keywords as are relevant from the 300 that the tool will provide. And again, quickly search and save them as lists to a project. Finally, go to your project page and review and filter your lists. There you might find yet more lists to make. Depending on your resources, pick 5 to 10 lists that are the most relevant to your site and products. When researching keywords for your website, you have to decide which results match your products and target markets. As we'll discover later, highly specialized keywords tend to fare better than ultra-general ones like chocolate. This concludes our Day 1 tutorial. Tomorrow we'll look at the process of building website content that targets your chosen keywords. Thanks for watching.